This is my uh, August 15th, 2024 live stream of Genshin Impact Sorry I was late, I had a little bit of issue.
Excuse me. Oh my goodness. God! Oh, I'm sleepy. Go, judgment. <clears throat> no one escapes my son. I must 
must leave no stone unturned. No escape! Huh? Yeah, getting harder than this motherfucker. So sweet. Why? Zane's own zero live stream next. Because I, I am so far behind. I'm, I'm still at chapter two. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the adventure. <clears throat> Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Add <clears throat> Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Dude, I think, dude, that's, I, I had to skip a day because, uh, I skipped a day because I, hmm. Okay, it looks like. About Zhang Li.
No, I want to put Benny in it. <clears throat> Benny for the heels. Yeesh. This is order. Yeah, boy! 
Nothing lasts forever. Right now. Multiplier. Deadpool 2, I couldn't see. Oh shit. Transfix. This is where you fall. As soon as I Deadpool 2, I couldn't not this is get instantly out of my head. Time to clean. Eh. Leave it all to me. Yeah. Yeah. Witness my eh. overruled. Yeah. Commence the cleanup. Frost is coming. 
Getting gear! Prepare! Frost is coming! Getting gear! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
orders given. <laughs> oh fuck. A sight to behold. <laughs> Good guy, they're squirrels. Eh, oh, hello. Eh, sacred name, fortune preserver. Eh, 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 are you fuckers? Right here. Eh, eh. Always watching. Show them. Emerge. Right here. Hey. 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 As a good night should. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. Yeah. Time to clean up. Steady as stone. Rest and rebuild. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, coming through. Yeah. As a good night should. Leave it all to me. Cut to the chase. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, thank God. It's Hazel! Sweet. C3? 
Okay, let's rip this in the butt. What the hell is she doing in Port Ormos? Nari? I thought I told him to spray it with water to retain moisture before applying the film. You can't treat a glaze lily like a cactus. If Sanjay does this again, the loss will have to come out of his food expenses. <clears throat> uh, I'll go talk to him. At this rate, he won't even be able to afford eating cacti for much longer. But that's Lee. That's from Leeway. Oh, <laughs> it's you two. It's been a while. What brings you to Port Ormos? We didn't have anything to do, and this place looked pretty lively, so we decided to stop by. But, uh, what's with all the flowers around here? Well, Port Ormos is currently organizing a flower exhibition featuring oh, flowers gosh. and plants from all over Tevat. So I came to help out. Mm. The exhibition includes flowers from every corner of the world, each with their own unique properties and needs. With that in mind, the curator commissioned a flower pot from Kasharawar capable of retaining heat and moisture. Even so, an is still required to develop tailored transportation and care plans for each type of flower. Oh, and that expert is you, right? This time, no. I'm just here to help out. The expert in charge is someone else. Mr. Tainari! Sanjay! He, uh, he confused the poisonous bulbs with garlic shoots, and he ate them! Oh, shit. Uh, never mind. Forget about what I said about the food expenses. Apologies, Traveler, Paimon. Looks like I've got something <clears throat> to take care of. I'll be back in just a moment. Tainari's busy no matter where he is, huh? Too many people are careless about what they eat. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't look at Paimon like that! Paimon is super careful about what she eats! Well, looks like Tainari might be busy for a while. Let's take a look oh, at shit. the report in the meantime! Mm. <laughs> for all that bloom do. <laughs> uh. Roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's? No wonder. Mm. <coughs> it's getting worse. Ugh, hay fever. I hate that shit. 
Uh, should we go find Tinari? <clears throat> I was fine just a moment ago. She didn't even eat anything weird. Ah, a moment of your time, you two? If it's not too much trouble, perhaps you could try this incense. For the incense. Thank you. Think nothing of it. From your attire, I imagine you two aren't from Sumeru either. Mm. Seeing as we're both travelers from abroad, it's only right that we help each other out should the occasion arise. Oh, so you're here for the flower exhibition too? Hmm. I suppose that's accurate. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Thank you so much for your help just now. Oh, and this mm. is... The Traveler, right? I've heard a lot about you from this team. Oh! It's nice to finally put a face to the name. Oh, uh, hold on. It's time to... Uh, Freya Joseph, uh, I'm doing fine. I'm doing Emily's... Emily... Em Emily's story quest. What <clears throat> happened back there? Hmm. Have you ever heard of hay fever? Yeah, it's a bitch. I think so. To put it simply, when inhaled, certain pollens can trigger abnormal physical reactions. I, uh, but I might have seen these kinds of flowers before, and nothing weird happened then. I have not. <clears throat> well, we're all different. Mm. The factors that can trigger a reaction to certain Fine. vary by person. Fine so far. I think although I didn't pull Emily, I could still do their quest. But inhaling various types at once can trigger a more overt reaction. But there's no need to worry. Pollen allergies can be effectively mitigated with the use of medication. Oh, that's good. Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Is everything all right? I left in such a hurry, I forgot to warn you about all the pollen in the air. Yeah, Paimon was not having a good time. <clears throat> ah, what a coincidence. Looks like my worry was misplaced then. The Traveler and Paimon are in good hands. It was nothing, really. We happened to run into each other shortly after my arrival, and I offered them a bit of help, that's all. I'm more curious. Mm, oh, yes. The traveler and Paimon were in danger. Allergies are highly unpredictable. If you were concerned the pollen might trigger a reaction, that must mean something similar has happened in the past. Okay, I did this some. Um, <clears throat> today I had a stream of. Uh, okay. I did a stream with uh, uh, Power World and uh, Withering Waves. I'm, I'm later going to do a... After this, I'm going to do a live stream on Zena Zone Zero. <clears throat> Remember the first time we met? You fainted after inhaling Spirit Borneal. Oh, I hate... Oh, man, I've been there. Whew, that was an allergic reaction. Oh man, I was tripping balls! It's not really something you can make sense out of, Paimon. There are all kinds of allergies out there, caused by a variety <coughs> of different factors. Some allergic to almonds. It's not something you can do. Exactly. Cleaner. Fontaine, where someone had an allergic reaction to soba noodles their family brought back from Inazuma. Whoa! Good thing Paimon isn't allergic to anything delicious. Mm. I mostly like uh, RPGs. You're a doctor, Emily? Hmm. In 
a manner of speaking, although you could say the clinicians I deal with are rather unusual. In addition to medicine, Emily is also very knowledgeable about botany. She's taught me a lot about the native flora <coughs> around Fontaine. And that's where my expertise ends, I'm afraid. When it comes to breadth of knowledge, Tynara certainly comes out on top. <laughs> oh, Paimon's got it! You must be the expert Tainari mentioned, the one in charge of the exhibition! <sighs> Wrong again, <laughs> I'm afraid. Well, I did come for the exhibition, but only to inquire about the Agust variety. I'm a ghost in any official capacity. Oh, Paima was sure she got it right this time. Mmm, <clears throat> <clears throat> goose variety? What the hell is that? That was once popular in Fontaine. The perfume made from it also bears the same name, a goose. A goose? That's not a name you hear often nowadays. In an ancient language, the word is said to mean sacred or noble. It's sometimes used as a name for people. Ah, that reminds me. Are you familiar with a historical event in Fontaine known as Perfume Mania? Not really. Perfume Mania was an event that occurred in Fontaine nearly 20 years ago. Oh, hold on. This quest wrong. It all started when several merchants released their own lines of high-end, expensive perfumes, marketing them as must-have luxury products, the very symbol of elegance itself. No one anticipated the absolute frenzy this would create on the market, causing the price of perfumes to skyrocket. The demand was twofold. What some saw as a status symbol, most saw it as a money-making opportunity. You could take advantage of the soaring price by hoarding them and reselling them. <sighs> margins. The value of these products became so inflated, regular mm. bottles of perfume were even going for hundreds of thousands of mora. This resulted in countless disputes and scams. But at the end of the day, perfume is just perfume. The market value greatly exceeded the intrinsic worth of the product, creating an economic bubble that was never going to last. Luckily, the Palais Mermonia recognized the danger and intervened before the craze could truly spread. Many profiteers and scammers were thrown in jail as a result. In the end, only a few wealthy families were affected when the bubble popped. <clears throat> that could really, could have been a lot worse. What does this have to do with that goose you mentioned earlier? Well, during the craze, the most popular perfume was none other than a goose. The demand far exceeded the supply, to the point where it once sold for 10 million mora a bottle. Damn! Oh, that's fucked up. Calm down, Paimon. After the mania ended, most perfumes returned to a normal price. Auguste was the only exception. Its namesake, the flower used to create it, went extinct. As a result, no new bottles of Auguste have been made, and the value of the perfume remains exceedingly high. Mm, the flower went extinct? Indeed. The Auguste flower was not a natural variety, you see. It was specially cultivated for use in perfume making. When the bubble popped, all the flower beds used for its cultivation were destroyed in a fire. The variety has never been seen since. Came to the exhibition to look for it. Ah, oh, yes. I came to investigate a certain rumor that the Auguste flower has reappeared in Sumeru. It's causing quite the stir in the Fontaine perfume market. Traveler, we should help Emily look for it. It's just a rumor, Paimon. I have to agree. Emily wrote me to ask if I could look into the rumor, but the forest rangers haven't received any reports of new plant species recently. <clears throat> I can locate the flower. I'm afraid you'll be disappointed, Paimon. I don't have any Grand Mora making endeavors planned. Ah! Divine, noble, one of a kind. All beautiful sentiments, to be sure. But to me, they overshadow the very essence of the product. When it comes to perfume, I want people to forget the price and the prestige and focus on the beauty of the fragrance itself. Don't just want back as wow, noble. 
Of course, there's also a more practical reason. In recent years, low-grade counterfeit versions of Auguste have been popping up on the Fontaine perfume market. Every so often, someone will claim to have recreated the unique scent of Auguste, and the rumor mill will start comparing the counterfeits to my own work. Okay, that's more like the reason Paimon had in mind. Ever since that rumor started, three new perfumes claiming to be made from the Auguste flower have appeared on the market. If I can dispel the fanaticism surrounding Auguste, even just by proving the rumor to be false, Fontaine's perfume market can finally start to get back to normal. Then I'll be free from all the stories and added meaning and just focus on making what I like. That makes sense. <clears throat> Either way, if it's not for Mora... Oh, I would of course be grateful for your help, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. No, you're not the answer. Well, do it yourself. We're both travelers from abroad, so it's only right that we help each other out. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Then you have my thanks. Based on the information I have so far, it's unclear if the rumor is true. Mr. Edgar also thinks it's too early to say. But you could always go talk to him. He was there all those years ago, after all. Maybe he'll know something. Oh, I was just about to pay him a visit at the hotel. Edgar? Who's that? The person you've been trying to guess this whole time. The flower expert in charge. <laughs> He's also the most respected and experienced perfumer in the area. Back when he was still working in Fontaine, Auguste was his creation. I should also mention, he was my teacher, the one who taught me the basics of perfumery when I apprenticed in Sumeru. So, you were the famous perfumer in Fontaine, but then you came to Sumeru to teach people from Fontaine? It sounds confusing. Yeah. It's a long story. If you're interested, we can talk more about it when we see him. He should be staying near the hotel. Ah, damn, we missed a bait. We missed a lift. Damn it! a large sum to rent out the hotel and surrounding buildings. They're being used as temporary storage facilities and lodging for exhibition personnel. Seems a bit excessive. Yeah, what if guests come early? They won't yeah. have anywhere to stay. Also, renting out this big of a hotel, how are they going to make that more back? I swear I got a fucking dog in this it, please. It seems like they might have... More to burn. Oops. Sorry about that. It slipped. Oh my God. Uh, it's been so long. I almost didn't recognize you, Edgar. Well, you and your brother haven't changed a bit. Oh, you oh yeah. No, oh, when I was nice and all, but let's when I was at business. My provider's place. Kyria. I didn't have that much. Is he? The problem I have was hearing It's nice to see you again, Master. Emily? Is that you? <laughs> oh, it's been years. Look at you. You're all grown up. I've heard you've become quite the famous perfumer in Fontaine. <clears throat> It would seem the student mm. surpassed the master. Oh, if he goes, if he's a bad, if he's an antagonist, this one, I'm not afraid of whoop anyone. Hardly. I taught you the basics. Hearing you call me master, well, I'm not sure I'm deserving of that title. 
I've taught many students here in Sumeru over the years, but I've yet to see one turn out quite as accomplished as you. You're the only one who can take credit for that success. And who are these two? I don't recall you mentioning them in your letter. <clears throat> They're my new friends, the Traveler and Paimon. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Aker. Emily's friend. Well then, the pleasure is all mine. And these two gentlemen? Are they friends of yours, Master? <laughs> <laughs> of course! We're perfume merchants from Fontaine. I'm Oud, and this here is my younger brother, Blaze. Edgar and the two of us are old friends. <laughs> Isn't that right, gentlemen? <laughs> uh, yes. Merchant brothers? You must be here to look for the August flower, then. Shut up, Paimon. Why don't shut the fuck up? <laughs> well, what respectable perfume merchant hasn't heard of a ghost? Anyone in the business would be interested in the rumors. I'm guessing you're here for the same reason, Emily. We were just about to get into it, so you three might as well join in. I commissioned a few Eremites to do some scouting for me. They searched all over Sumeru, but there were no sightings of the August flower. That being said, there are people in Port Ormos who claim to have smelled a unique fragrance on the streets. Definitely floral, but still distinct. Some of them were merchants who lived in Fontaine 20 years ago. According to them, the fragrance smelled exactly like the August they remember from back then. A one of a <clears throat> divine and noble scent. Yeah, that's alright. Maybe someone around here just happens to have a bottle of August from back then. No, I don't think so. I doubt that's the case. Even if someone had a bottle that was never opened, the fragrance of the perfume would have changed over time. Very few perfumes can go decades without a change in scent. August is even more prone to that kind of shift. Only a few bottles still exist in Fontaine, and their scent would have completely degraded by now. Although, could there be a flower out there with a similar fragrance? Or an accord with the same base notes? Impossible! If a goose were that easy to replicate, it would never have sold for such a high price all those years ago. The goose flower is back. It has to be. Technically speaking, the scent wouldn't be impossible to imitate. Well, let's table that question for now. Edgar, did any of those people mention where the scent was coming from? No. By the time they realized they had smelled something, the scent was already gone. If I hadn't asked about it, they probably wouldn't have given the experience a second thought. Compared to things we see and hear, smells can be much easier to overlook. Hmm. It almost sounds like someone wearing the August fragrance past them on the street. Wait, are you saying... <laughs> Just thinking out loud! <laughs> don't pay me any mind. We don't have much to go off of right now, but we can't rule out that possibility. I'll send some more people to investigate. You all traveled so far to be here. Why don't you rest in the hotel for a bit? <clears throat> Blaze, this is the key to your room. Ooh, you've got the keys to the room? Do we get free lodging too? Ah, my apologies. All the rooms in the hotel are accounted for, I'm afraid. Most are being used for storage ahead of the exhibition, you see. I managed to tidy up one of the rooms for these two at the last minute. But by the time Emily wrote to me, there was no more space left for her to stay. Oh, and we just showed up out of the blue. Guess that means there's definitely no space for us. Uh, I should have been more considerate. Here I am with an entire hotel at my disposal and no place to offer you to stay. Even after you made the trip all the way to Sumeru. Don't worry, Matt. <clears throat> I 
can sleep on the boat tonight, or I could even camp in the wild. It would give me the opportunity to collect some plant specimens while I'm here in Sumeru. I'm a familiar with Sumeru Wet. Ah, mother. Fuck! Although, would it be possible for me to leave some of my luggage here? It would be rather cumbersome to take it camping. It shouldn't take up too much space. Well, uh, 